This video will demonstrate how to identify Rexnord's tabletop chains. As the name implies, chain identification is the process in determining specific properties of your mat top and tabletop chains. Doing so will provide useful information, such as the chain type and product number, the chain width and pitch, and the chain material. These pieces of information are critical when troubleshooting is necessary and will expedite the reorder process. There are two general types of chains, tabletop and mat top. Mat top chains have a modular design in which individual links are bricked together to provide a continuous surface. They also include a pin that extends the full width of the chain. Tabletop chains have a fixed width design. Links are held together by a pin that does not run the full width of the chain. The pin acts as a hinge that is centered on the chain. The flat top catalog is a great resource to help with chain identification. The flat top catalog is broken up into different sections, and each section is color coded for added convenience. The gray section indicates mat top chains, and the blue section refers to tabletop chains. In this video, we will identify tabletop chains. The chain series number is the first step to identifying your chain. For tabletop chains, this is a three or four digit number stamped on the underside of the chain. There are two types of tabletop chains, one piece chain and two piece chain. One piece chain consists only of one link and pin. Two-piece chains consist of a top plate that snaps onto a roller base chain. For this example, we have an 1873 and an 880 chain. With tabletop side flexing chains, we must also identify the type of hold down method, which can be one of the following. Tab, bevel, low pin center line, and magnet flex. If the chain series number is illegible or unreachable due to running production, we can identify the chain by measuring the pitch, top plate thickness, and width of the chain. To measure the pitch, use a tape measure and measure from the center line of one pin to the center line of an adjacent pin. For plate thickness, it is best to use a digital caliper. Measure the thickness of the outer part of the chain flight. Please note that if the chain has been in use for an extended period of time, this measurement may be smaller due to wear. If you are going to be reordering the chain, measuring the chain width is crucial, as a missized chain will not operate in your application properly. To measure the width of your chain, measure from the outermost part to outermost part of the chain. The last item to identify may be the most difficult the material of the chain. Tabletop chains have both plastic and metal options. Rexnord utilizes a wide variety of plastic materials. For most general conveying applications, the most common materials used are low friction acetyl-based materials. Here are just a few examples of possible acetyl-based chains. Most commonly among these acetyls are the low friction and high performance materials. The LF material is a good choice for general, dry running, product handling applications, while the HP material is used in high speed, beverage handling, dry running conveyors, where fragile or unstable containers are present. If you have any doubts in the proper material selection for your application, refer to the black section of the flat top catalog or contact application engineering for assistance. When identifying whether a metal chain is composed of carbon steel or stainless steel, check the bottom of the chain first for a detailed description including the material. If this description is illegible or unreachable due to running production, we can use these parameters to determine the type of steel. By being able to properly identify your tabletop chain, Customers can save time and money when reordering chain or troubleshooting problems that may arise during operation. For more information or documentation, 
please visit rexnord.com or contact Flattop Application Engineering.